Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today we are playing Genshin Impact once again. Last time uh, I was halfway through this quest through the Viridian Mirage and I'm just going to complete that so let's, let's go all the way over here. It seems like we have to travel there. Something's off. Okay, there we go. We got the carrot. <laughs> what is that? Oh, okay. Oh, great. Okay. And I have to hit that thing. <sighs> okay, let's see. How do I hit this thing? Uh, I'm gonna need a, a bow. A bow and arrow character. Didn't keep you waiting, did I? Sure, I guess. I'll use Venti to hit this thing down. Okay, and great. This is wonderful, isn't it? So, it seems like we have a shooting challenge now. I'm really bad at like naming stuff, so this stuff's gonna take a while for me. And there we go, we finally finished it all, I think. There we go, and now our chest is waiting for us over there. So, gonna grab this chest. And I'm gonna go switch back to our ninja girl. So we're gonna go keep climbing up this hill until something happens, you know, until... Okay, I don't know how to get up here, but... Ah, okay, so that's the place we're supposed to go. Anyways, this is probably really confusing. Um, okay. Oh, there we go. We have a little hydro dude dressed up as a balloon. I mean, he really kind of looks like balloon-like, so I don't know why he drinks a balloon. So, okay, uh, do we get any benefit from attacking these dudes? I don't think so. I don't want to, like, harm innocent innocent heli trolls for nothing, even though they're trying to attack me. But, like, you know, there's no point in me attacking them if, if I don't need to, right? No need to waste my time. So, I just got the teleport waypoint. We're gonna go and see what we're gonna do. And now we found uh, an adventurer. He looks like he's built from like Mondstadt. Like, like he's, he's dressed up like one of those Mondstadt adventurers. Uh, I don't know who this is though. Is he Jeroni? No, Ferdinand. I, I saw like a few clips of this event already, so I kind of already got the gist of it. But if you need, I don't know if I should like summarize it or not, but like I'll, I'll try my best. We just were sent into a bottle by Klee because Klee's mother, Alice, I guess, gave her a bottle to go into uh, to explore because Klee basically just owns the summer um, and all of the summer events. Oh, and this guy, I think he's showing us the choo-choo cart, which I saw like, I saw this on like the trailer, uh, the choo-choo cart. Uh, and this is a streaming projector. We're going to have to do another 2D section uh, if we can activate it. There are a few puzzles that we have to learn in order to go through this part. I think there's like a light puzzle. There's like a... Uh, there's a few puzzles. I don't know. We'll, we'll we'll encounter them when we see them. I don't know how much I'm gonna be able to go through because I don't want to like make this video too long. Because honestly, any video past like 40 minutes is just way too long for me at least. Uh, so I might have to cut this quest, this one quest, into two parts, which is terrible, honestly. Like me talking through all of it is just like a way to. A way to entertain you guys. Maybe, maybe. My voice isn't too alluring, so I don't know. I don't have the this ASMR voice that you guys oh so want. That would maybe help me. Maybe if I train my ASMR, my, my ASMR voice, I can get more appeal. Because gurgled. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the, the, that the okay. I don't know what just happened. Uh, okay, okay. There's a little thing over here. Off. Aha. Uh -huh, okay. There's a little thing. The tree, the tree. We had to get it. We had to get it. You got to get the thing in the tree. So you see these little like what are these the onions? <laughs> little onions in the tree. I don't. I have no idea what they're supposed to be, but like they're like balloon things. Yeah, these things are good. We want them, right? And, like they're gonna get us good stuff. And overall, let's get into this cart. This is the choo choo cart, and I'm surprised it didn't make us do the tutorial thing, but whatever. That's just basically a roller coaster. And I don't think we have to do anything too much for now. We're just gonna fly around. And honestly, it looks really fun. Like the first three seconds, it looks like a like super fun. But in reality, after the first three seconds, it starts to get boring. Like, 
<laughs> like right now, we're, all we're doing is just watching us as we fly along the rails. And we're finally at our destination. This, this train, the train has ended. And what right ahead along the rails? Okay. Hold on. What is this guy trying to tell us? Gameplay guide attractions, no things. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. We need. We need this thing. We need this thing. We need to fix this thing. You gotta save more of those those bu bubbles, those sentient bubbles. So I think some of the tracks are broken, so I think we need to fix it. Well, I'm I'm pretty sure we'll get a gadget to like be able to locate where they are if I get an, I collect enough of stuff. So and then I'll eventually be able to get the skin and if I get enough stuff. Uh, it's too too much. There's too much stuff around here, and this little bubble is gurgling at us again. I don't know what the name is, but we, we just named the little bubble. But we're gonna we're gonna go into the Link Between Worlds. We're just gonna oh my gosh, this is like a this is like Zelda, a Link Between Worlds. We're going in between a subspace, and unfortunately, I forgot to move the box. If you can push something, it usually means you should push it. Uh, unfortunately, I do have to wait for it to completely push. But no, actually, no, I don't. I'm fine. I'm fine. We're fine. Okay, let's see what's here. There's two, I think there was two dudes there, right? There it is, and now they're gonna repair the track for us, I think. I don't know how the bubbles turned into the track, but it's like, whatever. We don't have to question it, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's just the way it works. So now we're gonna get this bubble dude to get inside of our, our, our cart, and we're gonna start, we're gonna start going. Come on, let's go. Come on, faster. And we also get to, like, attack. Which is fun. And it'll be like these bubble things. Oh, I almost missed one. It's okay if I miss some because like there's more than enough. And honestly, the the most ideal strategy is just to keep spam clicking. It doesn't matter what you hit these little mud these little mud dirt things. Like the best way to beat this mini game is just to keep spamming. Honestly, we don't need timing anymore. Um, if I do time it, it's like it, it does get a little bit more precise. I know some of them like it, it is better to be more precise. Uh, than to spam, but most of the time, like, spamming will just get you where you need to go. Uh, so, let's see. The ping is getting just awfully high, which is a little scary. Uh, so, we're just gonna keep going. Let's keep swimming, swimming, swimming. Oh, okay, I missed that one. Okay, okay, we got that, we got it all. We, we finished. Finished flying colors, I tell you. I don't know what that is. What is that? What is that? Where is that? Where, who is that? Okay, I got a chest it looks like. But where can I get this bubble? Is a bubble over here? I don't... If it's gonna take too long to get the bubble, I'm not... Uh, not the bubble, the balloon thing, I'm not gonna get it. But if it's close by, I can probably just grab it real quick. There it is. Yeah, okay, so... I just need to collect those balloons as we go along the way, because they'll help. And I'm just gonna board on this thing again. We're on a board, and we can also like jump the track. Actually, every time you like you these tracks diverge, it actually makes me go a little bit faster. So that's definitely very good. And we're gonna do the loop-de-loop, -loop, looks like, which is very fun. Look at that. I don't know why there's just a random loop in the road, but, I mean, it's fun, right? As long as Klee likes it, it can stay. That little pyromaniac. There's also some chests along the way, but I'm just gonna ignore that. I can't- if I jump out, then it's like it's gonna make me have to go all the way back, which is a headache. And it's better just to go, like, at least get the- the checkpoint first, and what is this? Okay, so there's like a little balloon thing somewhere in front of here. There's a balloon thing over here. Uh, how do I get this thing? Oh, okay, oh, okay, this, this seed will help me. I need this balloon. And there's also this thing. Oh no. So let's see. If we can do this. Collect, collect. Oh no, we're going farther away. Well, actually, we're getting to our destination, so it's fine.
Did I miss one? Oh my gosh, I missed one. Okay, um... Uh, there we go. <laughs> oh my gosh, that would not, that would have been terrible if I missed it. Uh, oh, okay, the chest has gone in my way. Yep, still left it. I didn't leave, oh no, I missed it again. It's so annoying when I miss stuff. Uh, okay, let's see. Can I get this thing? Um... What does that do? Does that do anything for me? You have something for me, Mr. Bubble? Or Miss Bubble? I don't know. I don't assume. I don't think these bubbles have genders anyway. There's a little bird there. I like the ocean of birds. So, okay, there's another thing over here, which is... I'm not sure if I should try getting or not. Uh... I don't know. Well, let's let's just continue with the quest for now. We can I can get them later. That's the thing, right? Like it'll get easier. Like it'll be easier to get them later if I finish the quest first. Uh, if I can figure out where am I supposed to go? Oh, okay. I'm supposed to go on this this, this thing. So basically, we just have to go over here. Honestly, I'm really starting to feel the the quest burnout because of this extraneous long quest. Ugh. There's another spinny thing it's so big! This is the uh, railway station, we can use different railways now. We unlocked the Choo Choo Cart Express. I think Fontaine will probably get something similar to this, that's why they introduced this feature now. I think they're just trying to test the waters out. And, and like with the Summertime Odyssey event, like they introduced the... the I know like in the first one, the summer, the summer, the first summer event, they... Um... Well, can I switch it? Or like, no, okay. I know in the first summer event, like, they introduced the Wave Rider stuff, and, like, that was put into the game, like, in Unizuma, like, permanently. So, I think that, like, this is kind of, just testing this, I think the railway stuff will also be there, which is pretty nice. Uh, I, I think the railway stuff is fine. It's, it's okay. It gets a little bit boring, though. It's kind of slow. Uh, it's exciting a little bit. I like how fast it goes. Like right now, it's going pretty fast already. Although after a while, it gets just really boring <laughs> because we're just seeing this 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 thing with no wheels, this gliding as we land on this flower. So, okay, Mr. Jeroni, what do you have for us? I think this is the argument scene. We're gonna go fight everyone. Better be back and switching work again or blah. Whatever, we have Nerd1 talk to Weirdo2. And they're just gonna argue for a while. And we get to see Uncomfortable Klee and Angry Kaya in this scene, probably. I'd rather be focused on my own after switching the track. So, they're gonna continue fighting and bickering because they have like a brotherly relationship, it looks like, honestly. Oh, it doesn't seem like they started fighting yet. You don't get to see the stress clee. No one did nothing wrong. And this water droplet, once again. I don't know, like, where this is. Like, is this... Like, I don't know, like, how there's just people and stuff living inside this bottle. Like, did we just shrink down? And, ooh, that little flower just made that... That little water bubble made the flower light up, which is cool. Oh, it's flowing with water now. I don't know what that does. It's starting to trip water on the thing, which is going to let some of the flowers bloom up. Oh, there we go, now we can switch tracks. So those flowers are going to let us switch tracks now, so we're going to have more accessibility, so being able to repair stuff. Of course, we're not, I'm just going to do that all off-camera. Like, honestly, all the exploration, I'll just do off-camera. I'll get all the stuff off-camera. Okay, so this is the argument scene between this dude. Uh, Klee is whimpering. What's wrong? I don't get it. No one did anything wrong. I just ugh, smug attitude. Who are you calling smug? Precisely. Go somewhere. Else. Oh, cool, cool it. <laughs> Kaya really does say cool it to them. So, Kaya, continue walking. Don't get upset, Cleo. There are many complicated people who just bicker for no reason at all. I don't really care about what you have to say or anything that's going on in the story quest. So. This, this let me do some action, you know, let me finish this quest, let me go through different parts. I'm sorry, we've calmed down, we don't argue in front of a child with that. I'm so sorry, Klee. <laughs> so noble, but also it makes me feel a little strange. 
Um, anyways, you don't want to get Klee angry. Klee will just blow you up. She goes, fush, she goes fish blasting for fun, which is like, um, uh, she's, she's a pyromaniac. She blew up a mountain. So just don't get Klee angry. And I don't know, actually, I feel like I should be going the other way. I should have just went down and then it would have taken me back. But this way is fast. Not, not as fast as I want it to be. Uh, it's just a little bit, a bit slow, but we'll, we'll get there in time eventually. Uh, I just saw a few things that's worth noting. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll have to adventure it later. I think there'll be like some sort of thing for me to to um, see all the chests. So I think it should be fine. Okay. Go on, turn around. As you can see, so we switched to amber, the amber flower now. Uh, not when I didn't switch to amber. Amber is amber is not great, uh, but the amber road. We're going there, and it's a little challenging actually. So we're gonna try to hit it. I think we hit it right. So these things are just gonna make us shoot it. So boop, boom, bada bing, bada boom. And the lag, the lag, oh no. There's just a big X the swarms. The big X of the the big X of dirt, the dirt balls. You know, gotta love when the game tells you don't go here. Um Yeah, right now it's going kind of slow. <sighs> it's times like these when you gotta wish there's a two times speed button on the video. <laughs> But unfortunately, for me, there are no two times speed. But for you guys, you can just like speed through this section pretty quickly. Hopefully, you guys didn't lose interest yet. Hope you're still there. What to do? Precious chest is fine. I don't know who Hado is, but oh, this is Hado. 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 Uh huh. Okay, here he is, Hado. We're gonna talk to everyone here. Is just like I think they're all the same gene pool. I mean, they all have blue hair, blue eyes. I think Idiot looks a little different. Her eyes are a little bit different. Um, I don't know. Actually, I didn't really check. Her clothes are different at least. But yeah, no, they all have the same eyes. Are they also all blue? Like, like I know, like physically they're blue, but are they like internally blue too? Like we can use their elemental say We'll have to check later to see if they're also internally blue. Maybe they're just blue inside because they're all sad. When they add those little lines under their eyes, it makes them look a lot older. But I feel like Genshin only has like three haircuts and they just showcase the three haircuts here. <laughs> These are just like abridged Monstat characters that were sent to the bottle and now turn into Oceanids or those bubble creatures. I don't really know. I never know. Are they blue? Huh? Okay. I can't see the... They, they, they decide to disappear on me. Those... Blue dudes, they don't want to see, they don't want me to see their true identity as a blue person. Okay, we're at the flower now. Activate the torrential twister. That sounds like a super cool, like, move. Torrential twister. Okay, this water droplet's gonna activate the water now. I don't know, I kind of feel bad, like, are they sacrificing themselves? They're kind of reminding me of, like, the Lumas. They, like, make themselves into a galaxy. And also the music here is also really nice. Um, I don't know if there's any music playing. I can hardly hear the audio, but like I just like based on what I heard, like the music is probably pretty good. <laughs> I say that like having already heard the music from like the trailers and stuff, but like I just want to see like where to where they implement the music to. And of course they're gonna recommend us some hide and seek. Some of the bubbles are gonna make us play hide and seek with them, I think. Uh, let's turn to, uh, let's turn to there, so, I'm gonna flip this card over and board on here, and just, just, hurry up, come on, we don't have all day. And you can go faster. We almost went past. So, we're over here, we're gonna go back, talk to these, these blue dudes, and we're gonna bring our, bring our team, go chill with these dudes, uh, <laughs> They look like triplets. They just like all all circle around us. Stop right there. We're actually evil. How do we even know that we can trust these dudes? Like, what if they're actually evil? 
right? Like, I know the, like, the Fatui are the evil people, but like, what if these blue dudes are actually the real enemies of humanity? And they're making us restore their evil base inside the bottle. Anyways, the game won't make us think that much. At least think that far, to say the least. Uh, boop. Let's get on board to... Let's have a challenge. This is taking forever. Come on, hurry up. Oh no. What is this? No, what? <laughs> what, what? What was the lag? Oh my gosh. Literally, it just like only made me go through like, made me miss two of those balloons. I, I don't, I don't think that will affect me too much because it's like, the, they have more than enough. But like, the lag, like, of the balloons is crazy. Um, they just don't appear in front of me. Look at that. They're just like lagging behind. Uh, break you, break you. I'm just gonna explode. Um, honestly, these little, like, dirt balls are like a. They don't really hurt me that much. They're just there. They just, like, hurt. They just, like, impede. They're like, they're like the bloopers from Mario Kart. They just don't let you see. Um, but otherwise, they're, they're pretty. They don't really do too much. They don't, like, make me lose points or go slow down. If they make me slow down, I, I might actually try to, to not hit them. But my speed doesn't change regardless. So, I'm just going to keep hitting these orange balloons, these little tangerine things. Oranges, and... Good to do. Yeah, it's, it's fun, I guess. But, like, it gets a little boring. Oh my god, did I fail? I didn't fail, right? Hurry up! <laughs> like, like, I don't need you to be roadkill, but, like, like... If, I, if you're gonna slow me down, you might as well be able to kill you little bubbles. Uh, I don't even know how this like choo choo car is moving. There's no wheels on it from what I saw. So. It's just a mystery. Shrouded in mystery forever. So, we're gonna continue going through the story quests. Actually, this is a normal quest. This is an event quest. A young mage. I like how Kaya just did the, <laughs> did the soldier pose. Uh, no, the salute, they call it. Anyways, for a Master Thief, he seems to be very chivalrous, I think they say. Very honorable? I don't know the words. Um, no, I was never great with my words to begin with. And... Oh my gosh, when is the skip button going to exist? Because really, this... Oh my gosh, Kokomi is possessed. <laughs> or her eyes just now. Okay. I'm <laughs> nothing. I'm going to ignore that we just saw a possessed Kokomi. And, oh, there's a chest here. Return to Silver Corp from the Silver Corp Silver Bottle Court yard. Um, anyways, I'm just gonna quickly grab this thing. This little balloon. Uh, where is it? Okay, this thing over here. Ah, okay, there it is. So, this little bubble is gonna open up this chest for us. Uh, this- he better hurry up, though. Come on, open this up. Use your little bubble body to- to burst the bubble. I don't even know how these guys do it, like... They just, like, walk over there and then it pops. So... Let's go over here. Grab the balloon. Okay, got it. Now we're gonna go back here, we're gonna teleport all the way back here. You see, the game is, like, making us, uh, grab the teleport waypoints, which is nice. Um, it's pretty convenient. Like, the the trials and stuff, like, coincide with the, the story quests, or it's the, I don't know if it's the story quest because the story quests are kind of different, but, like, the, the, the quests, basically, I don't know if it's normally a story quest. Um, but, like, the, what I'm trying to, what I'm trying to say is, like, the, the challenges that they bring along with us also, like, coincide with the, the quests, basically, and that makes us follow along, which is nice. It means that I can unlock, I can get chests while also doing the story, being double the reward. And we have a little idiot over here, our little mascot, waiting for us, our lazy little mascot. <sighs> she reminds me of Paimon, doesn't do anything. So, now when I think about it, we don't actually know who Paimon really is. Like, who is a sentient, flying, literally fairy thing that's flying next to us all the time? Like, no one questions who Paimon is, and she just stands next to us the whole time. Like, who is Paimon? Like, we, we, is she a fish? Like, like, is she a, a flying fish? Because we fished her up from the pond? Like, 
The Paimon doesn't even know who she is, so... Paimon is, Paimon is Paimon. So it seems like we finally completed that. Did we complete it? Okay, so I think we completed the first quest, I think. Hold on, I need to collect this balloon real quick. Um, I might end off the video here though. Um, this has been a very nice experience. And I really liked uh, being able to record. I remember how passionate I was in the past for recording. I'm still, I still have some passion for it. Um, it's just I've been really busy these past days. Oh my gosh, what is it? Come on, how's it gonna? There we go. Oh dear, hear me. Anyways, that's gonna be the end of this video, guys. I just checked. Like this video is oh, gonna be take a while while to edit and anyways I'm gonna really have to wrap up this video now and I just want to thank you guys so much for watching and I'll definitely see you guys next time and I'll probably I'll try to come back with another another part of the quest but if I don't get back just know I probably finished it off camera <laughs> so I'll see you guys next time bye <laughs>